Alright, so I'm going to show how to open up and disassemble this ASUS GU501G, okay? So first what you want to do is remove all the screws. They are using a T5 screwdriver. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, alright? Once you remove all those screws, let's see, we're going to have to pry this up it looks like see here so you might have to use a thin pry tool let's see I'm gonna try with my fingernails and see if I can pop it up here it's a fly flying around my work area okay so let's see I'm gonna need a thin pry tool Get the thin pry tool to get the pry tool in the gap. Okay. Let's see if we can pop this open. There we go. So just pop it up slightly. Alright, once you get it started, you can work it around. Looks like once you get up one side, it's pretty simple. It feels like there's an adhesive in the back area near the hinge. So just be careful. Pull it up slowly. Okay, let's see. There are some clips or something up here. Go away, fly. So once you get that, it looks like there's a little gap back here that you might have to pull. Yep. Okay, so this part sticks up, oops, this part sticks up a little bit, so you kind of want to put your fingernail or pry tool slightly in there while you pull up. Okay, and then it comes out just like that, so that wasn't too difficult to remove. Okay, alright, this is super dusty, oh okay, you can see these fans are very dusty, alright. <clears throat> So anyways, I'm going to do a quick tutorial because my customer is waiting outside. Um, but first thing you want to do for most people, if you're going to mess around with stuff inside, pull this um, thing, this metal tab back and then disconnect the battery. Let me make sure it's completely off because some customers like to bring their computer when it's still on. <coughs> okay, it's off. All right, after you do that, just pull up the battery connector just like that. After you do that, you want to press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds, so open it slightly. Hold the power button down, about 15 seconds. Alright, just to make sure to drain any power from the inside, especially if you're going to mess with the LCD connectors. Um, I'm not really going to mess with any of that, but here you can see the hard drive connector. To disconnect that, you flip up this little tab and then you can pull this connector out. I'm not going to change any of that because there are issues the fan. But um, there are four screws holding it in place. This is a two and a half inch SATA. Then you got a um, uh, M.2. This looks like a SATA drive. It's not, oh, it is uh, PCIe NVMe. So if you wanted to upgrade the SSD, it's a M.2 SSD PCIe NVMe, right? So let me see. I don't really want to remove the keyboard. Let's see under here. So here you can see the RAM, 16 gig. PC4 2666V. Alright. Uh oh, I'm getting a call. Let me decline that for now. Okay, so we got all that. Let's see, you got the LCD connector here, it looks like. It looks like that, yeah, the LCD connector. So it runs all the way underneath here. It's pretty interesting. They run it underneath this piece of tape and then they plug it in here. Um, it looks like there's just adhesive holding it in place, so you can pull that out. Um, I don't want to mess with all these, but you got the fan connectors here. Alright, you got the CMOS battery, wireless card, just like every other video, you just pull up the tail of the wireless card and then push it back down to reconnect it. You got the speakers here, so this is more just a quick tutorial of what's inside. The speaker connects right here. Uh-oh, my phone overheated. Alright, sorry about that. My phone actually overheated, so I'm going to be quick about this. Um, but anyway, so showed everything. Um, there's the trackpad connector here. 
the keyboard connector here, the keyboard backlight connector here. If you need to remove these, they have these little flip tabs that you just flip up and then you can pull them out. You do have to take out the battery to remove these connectors. Um, but other than that, there's not much else to this. The CPU and GPU are soldered to the board. You can't upgrade them. So please don't ask that. I keep getting asked that same question on almost every single model. You can tell if it's repair, uh, replaceable or not because you'll see like a thick socket and these don't have those. So that's pretty much all there is. Um, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like and subscribe so that other people can find it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so after cleaning the fans out and blowing them out, it wasn't good enough. So I will show you um, how you can take these fans out. I'm not sure if you'll be able to, if they'll be fixable, but we will find out. So on top of the fans, there are four screws on each side, these small screws. You do have to use a PH0 or J0 screwdriver, not the PH1 or J1. All right, once you remove the four screws, um, oh, you also need to disconnect the fans. So to disconnect those, I just grabbed the cables as close as I could to the connector and kind of just wiggled it, um, and then they pop out on their own, okay? So here you can see the fans lift up like this, and even after blowing it out, you can see there's a whole bunch of dust still stuck in here, okay? So it looks like that wasn't good enough. Um, we do have to get the dust out of there. So these fan propellers they actually are stuck to this it looks like I don't think you can pull these propeller I don't know if you, oh yeah I don't think you can even pull these off so if that's the case you do have to replace the fans let me see if there's a way to add grease from the other side but it looks like you can open it to clean it but you can't open it to um, add grease to this so let's see if on this side if we can add grease or not so open this and no you can't there's a metal cover on this so these fans we will have to replace them there aren't any model numbers on here I think are there maybe these stickers um, it might be this DFS 20092012BC0T. Um, this one DFS 2013121100T. And I got these little numbers here, so I don't know if those will be helpful to you or not. But maybe you can see those. Okay. Uh, but, anyways, that's all there is to this machine. Sorry, I had to do so many takes I will stitch it all together it'll be one video but yeah um, and when you put these back make sure you put these plastic bits back on top but um it looks like the fan blades aren't replaceable again so you can't add grease to these I hate these kinds of fans these are the worst kinds these are the ones that if something's wrong you have to replace them but anyways I'll just clean out the rest of the dust and hope that that's good enough um, but yeah Thanks again for watching. Hopefully this video helps you. If it does, please like and subscribe because it'll help others find my videos and help them fix theirs. And it'll also help me. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, so I stand corrected on the fan. I was able to fix one of them. So this fan now, it actually spins really well. I redid the grease, so should be good. I'll redo the grease on this one. Let's see if I can remove it the same way. So I have to kind of apply pressure from the back. Try and keep the pressure even. If you have like a special tool that can push all three sides like equally, that would be the best way. But since I don't have something like that, maybe I can make something like that eventually. But I'm just going to push really hard until it pops off just like that. So here you can see it comes out. It does have this little groove here and that's what kind of clips the fan in place. Um, I am going to clean out this fan because it's a little dusty. Okay. So it looks like this can be repaired. Anyways, um, so I guess sometimes if it seems stuck, you just kind of have to try harder. Um, but sometimes it does damage the bearing. It can pull the bearing out, so 
be careful with these all right but if you're if you're planning on buying a new fan anyways might as well give it a shot all right so what i do is i take a little synthetic motor oil and i just drip it in the center just like that wiggle it around make sure it gets in all the bearings make sure clean the dust off the fan now that you have it open Right after you do that, just take the fan, line it back up, push it back in, make sure it snaps in place. Okay, so once you do that, you can. I recommend um, instead of those air cans that you guys get one of these. It's very nice. Um, it's called Giotto's or something, Rocket Blaster or something. I don't know, but. Get one of these they're very nice you don't have to worry about it blowing out cold air that can cause condensation and you can use it unlimited times it's just if you get tired and you have to rest but this fan's definitely better as well okay so before doing this this fan was super wobbly um, but now this fan is actually better than that one <laughs> So I might have to take that fan out. Okay. Yeah, this fan is really good. Let me check this one. Here. Yeah, they're both good. All right. So that's another trick, I guess, to repair these kinds of fans. Um, if it has the metal cover on the back, uh, like I showed on this one, I think. So if it has this metal cover on the back. You might be lucky um, if you're planning to just buy a new fan anyways. Just try and force it out. Make sure, again, to apply even pressure. Um, if you have a special tool or you can kind of like try and form something in here, you can get like some rubber pieces or something that are all the same size and then use some pad to just push them all down. But anyways, um, that seemed to have worked. So hopefully this video will help you guys if you have to fix your fans. Um, Again, like and subscribe so other people can find these videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!